Magpul just came out with some new furniture for the MP5 and MP5 clones, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you why I'm excited and why most MP5 and MP5 clone owners should be pretty excited for this. It could take it from a SEF lower to a pictogram lower with keeping all your internals the same. I'm going to go over a quick video showing you why that's pretty cool and how hard it is to do without the Magpul furniture. If you have an MPP5 or an MP5 clone and your lower is an SEF, which stands for safe, uh, German for single fire and fire, to take it to a pictogram lower, you had to change a lot of internals and a lot of parts just essentially for what is a cosmetic change. Magpul definitely saw a, a gap in the furniture for anybody that wanted to do a pictogram lower but didn't want to spend a couple hundred just changing internals just for that pictogram lower. Traditionally, if you wanted to ch change your trigger housing to have that pictogram lower, you would need a new trigger housing, a trigger pack to match the trigger housing, and a new safety to match the indentation marks on your trigger housing. So this would run up a couple hundred real quick just to essentially what it is, make a cosmetic change on your MP5 or MP5 clone. Like I said, Magpul swept in, saw that gap, and with their new trigger housing and safety that work for the SEF packs, they've definitely filled that gap. All right, going over it, let's see how easy it is to change out this Magpul trigger housing to the SEF trigger housing. Some of it's already kind of pre-done. Uh, the SB Tactical brace sits on there real tight, so I kind of already pulled it off just to make it a little bit easier for this video. So essentially all you gotta do is you wiggle off, probably end up hammering, hitting, whatever you gotta do for your SB Tactical brace because it sits super tight. Then you take off your trigger housing, you pull up on your safety to get out the lever. Should be relatively easy. Comes right out. You pull up on your trigger pack. And the whole trigger come, pack comes out. What makes this an SEF trigger pack is orientation of where the lever goes. That's why whenever you need to change out your housing and your trigger pack and your safety lever to a traditional pictogram lower, it takes a lot because this has to match, the safety lever has to match, and the trigger housing all has to match. Pretty sure the SEF lowers are the most common out there, so that's, like I said, why Magpul did a really good job filling in that gap. Now let's say somebody wanted to keep their SEF lower and they just wanted an improved safety lever. All you gotta do is just pop it in like you did in reverse. Make sure the orientation is right. Line it up, snap it in. Great grip, great fill. I don't really have to change my grip if I want to go to safety. Before I'd have to do this weird cant thing to kind of get it right. This way I could keep a nice tight grip. I could lower it and take my shots. And it's also got an ambidextrous, so you could throw another lever on this side, keep it traditional where it's just pointing at your indicators, or you could throw a short throw on it. All right, going back to replacing it, pull out your trigger pack again. As far as the angle of the grips go on the Magpul versus the traditional SEF, you could see that the Magpul has a sharper vertical angle to it. So it kind of brings it a little bit more in line with what an AR grip would feel like. All right, getting back to swapping them out. Here's the new Magpul lower. Get your trigger housing. Mine feels really snug in it. At first I didn't think it was gonna fit. Everyone's got their uh, clones that are slightly different. Everything fits in a little bit differently, especially with MP5s and MP5 clones. But mine got to this point where it felt like it didn't want to line up, and all I had to do was just give it a little extra push and it lined up real well. Now from here, if you want, you could put your traditional safety lever back in. Uh, that'll work perfectly fine with it. It doesn't feel quite right. It works when you have it on safety. It won't fire it. It just feels a little bit sloppy and like there's a lot of play in it. Plus, the problem with uh, the pictogram lowers and the traditional safeties is it didn't really give you a great indication of where you were really pointing at. All right, this uh, trigger housing is definitely made to go with the new Magpul safety. Once you put it in, it locks up nice and nice and tight every time you want to go to a certain indicator. It feels nice and solid. It doesn't go anywhere you don't want to. It's a lot less play than the traditional safeties. One thing that I don't like they, that they did, which I understand, 
is they added this little extra texture so you can't go down to where the uh, pictogram shows for full auto. Of course, they're uh, semi-auto clones, so you can't even, even if I set into that position, still wouldn't shoot full auto. It's just pretty much an extra indicator, which is probably why they blocked it off. You only really need safe and fire. Going down is just an extra step, something that might accidentally happen if you're trying to shoot and you push it down extra. It's just that many more steps to get back to safety. It's just a little bit extra texture, so I think they made it so if you wanted to, you could just uh, dremel it off or whatever. All right, snapping this back in is pretty easy. If it's nice and flush, you don't have to worry about uh, clipped and pinned anymore. It's just one solid piece. If you don't know what clipped and pinned is, it just uh, it made it look like it was actual push pin because most are not actual push pins. So this side is clipped and pinned. It pretty much makes it look like a push pin is through, but all they really did was just take it and welded it or soldered it on. Uh, one side is here, and you can see the other side is not. It probably broke off at some point in time. Either way, this one fits in nice and flush. You don't need to worry about clipped and pinned feels great and then you just put your SB tactical brace back on which I'm gonna do off screen because this thing is a real pain to take on perfectly all right all right now that everything's put back together it looks really good it looks really clean like I said this housing and the set selector lever just go together really well it has a very solid engagement uh, if you really wanted to make it be able to go to the full auto setting which it actually wouldn't be able to go to full auto because they're semi-auto clones all you gotta do is jumble that piece off um, the texture feels really good. Gives me a really solid grip. Uh, the front and the back kind of leave a little bit to be desired. They're not so much, I don't know if you can see from the video, but it just kind of lines. The side has a little bit more texture and a little bit more grip to it. Does give you solid feel. All right, so that's the Magpul SL grip module and the ESK safety lever all put together. Relatively quick, pretty easy, and like I said, Magpul definitely filled a gap for SEF trigger pack lowers that want pictogram lowers. Something like this traditionally would have cost about $300 to be able to do with the Magpul parts that are on mass production. They made it as easy as about $100 uh, 